Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Um, we are on a server that just released not too long ago. It's Rune Guild. It's actually got a lot of players, bro. I'm not gonna cap. 60 players, bro. And it's like almost midnight, man. So that's pretty cool, man. Um, first of all, we're doing a giveaway, so comment your in-game name below. We're doing bonus XP scroll, rare drop scroll, and then uh, guild coins. You can use one of those to get donator ranks or something else if you want to sell it for maybe higher end end game weapons or some i don't know how much they go for in game but i'm sure you can get something good for it so just comment your in game name below um we're hosting a giveaway on my discord as well so link will be in the description um today's just like a, a showcase pretty much we're going to be going over some of the special features about this server as in for instance like uh this tab in the quest tab they have server events and they have so many different events dude and what's even cool about this is that it shows the um, time frames of when it um you know it's going to start so for instance this one now i guess you could play and there's so many different ones you could choose i guess so this one two minutes two minutes and so i'm guessing you just teleport out to um this npc and i don't know if like if you guys all get like a reward or if only one person gets the reward like for instance when you go to court you guys have like you know it's pretty much whoever goes there and whoever gets the most xp out of the boss gets a uh, the drop but i don't know how the server event uh npcs work so if you guys do know just comment down below um that's pretty cool though i like how that encourages um the wilderness if it's if it's even in the wilderness, I don't know if it is or not, but pretty cool. Uh, let's go over the home while we're here. Um, it's got some different teleportations that I don't want to risk going through. <laughs> That's probably some PK over there. <coughs> then we just, some of the shops over here, like for instance, we'll just go to this one. Hello, what are you? What do you mean, what are you? What are you talking about, kid? And over here, we got the GE, of course. That's actually pretty cool because some servers don't have that. And um, I think it's always a must. You know, it just, it's more user-friendly for, um, you know, players that need to, you know, just sell their items that they don't need anymore. And it's kind of, it's kind of even hard when, <laughs> let's just say, like, you get off and someone gets back online like two hours later, bro. And they're looking for that item, but you can't sell it. So it's cool to have a GE when you're offline and you can still sell. So that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't seen a home like this, bro. I I mean, the last time I played, dude, all the homes were at Edgeville. So seem like seeing something like this is it's unique, first of all, and second, it's uh it stands out from some of the other servers that are just edgeville and all that so this is El edgeville but it's a custom um home so which is pretty cool and then we just got a whole bunch of other you know scaling activities going on at home you can see all the logos up here so it's pretty cool and then going over here we just got have our bank that took me a second to find where the bank was because i thought it was right there but no it's over there so and then it looks like the home is, you know, it's pretty big. So, you you know, it's not just like Edgeville where you just only have banks and then a couple stores. You got a whole bunch of going on here. So, this looks like, oh, okay, one of the tournaments. That's actually pretty cool. You know, the server does grow a little bit more into a uh, PvP server. That would be cool as well because they got these server events and that can encourage... Uh, pvm players to go out to pvp which you know that that'd be cool to see that's that's always something that i like to see as well in the pvm server so um yeah this is pretty much the home though as you can see it's edgeville right here so i i like the layout of it it's you know it's not too small i want to say it's not that big you know, it is pretty big compared to like edgeville homes but it's not like big to the point where I don't know. You get the gist of it, so. But you can see a lot of active players on, like, Iron Players. I've never seen these Donator Rank logos before, so that's something new as well. Something that we can go through is some of these tabs right here. Just, like, the basic uh, stuff that you would have in RSPs to uh, count your points. 
for PVM points. That's pretty cool. Then I'm guessing you got all your shops here that you can use your points for. So um, just all your basic skills, CC. Um, that's cool. You're doing near the store and all that. It's pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know if that's like another item you can e equip. That gives you like more XP or a better drop rate or something. Um, then you got your daily task as well, which is pretty cool. So that's uh, I don't know if there's commands. Okay, there is commands on the server. Cool. So we got the world events. Pretty cool tournament. I would I would like to do something like that. Then you got your training teleports, and then all your Slayer teleports. I'm guessing some of the bosses I will show you. Oh, dude. Look how many bosses they have, bro. They got... And so, okay, obviously they have 12 of them. Oh. I've never seen some of these before. Huh. Okay, so it even shows uh, which one's in PvP area. That's even cool, man. That's, that's good to know. So most of these are not in PvP, so... Um, dude, look at all these minigames. Dude, that is a lot of mini games. So it's this is a nice user uh, interface right here. It's uh, user friendly. You know, it's it's pretty clean because you can see what's in the wilderness and what's not in the wilderness. So you don't have to, you know, make sure that you're not teleporting into the wilderness with your bank and all that. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know, man. This the server stands out a little bit, not only because of the home, but it's got more than average players on a runescape private server most servers probably have around average like 20 to 30 players like average online but their player base is like a couple hundred to a thousand this server probably has a couple thousand players and i mean average 60 bro for midnight that's that's pretty good i, I you probably see at least maybe a hundred during the day so um yeah, uh, make sure you guys enter in the giveaway. Though. I just wanted to do a quick showcase on the server. Um, I saw I saw a video of the server, and I was like, I, I have to go over it because some of you guys that play 317 RuneScape Private Servers may have not seen this. And I think this one's pretty unique, not only because of the home and just everything else that ties to it. So um, if you guys have any questions about anything, uh, I'll leave their Discord. Um, in the description as well um, all their staff are friendly man I, I talked to the owner he's pretty cool I've known him for a while so um, well what's that you see these ranks their logos above these names dude there's so much to like I might do another video on the server actually just to get more in debt and maybe do some showcase on the bosses and all that but um, other than that guys just comment your in game name below um, so for the giveaway, I think what I'll do is I'll probably announce it on, obviously I'll announce it on the uh, YouTube video like a couple days later after I release it, but I'll also announce it on the, their, uh, <laughs> I can't even talk, their Discord and my Discord as well. So um, just stay tuned for that. And other than that, you guys have a good Saturday night, brother.